Hi Leo, welcome to your Week Ahead Taroscope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Your key to the week this week is the Temperance card. If you haven't seen it, please check out the Weekly General. There's a reason for it this week, right? And I think that it will really speak to you guys. Now, with that said, the Temperance card really is about alignment. This is about aligning your inner world, your inner vibration with the external experience that you want to have, right? Nothing that we want shows up on the outside before it shows up on the inside. I can assure you for this, I wish it had been the case otherwise. I wish it hadn't taken me so long to learn, but I can guarantee you that that really is the case. So check your internal world this week. I will also say to you, when it comes to your world, your interpersonal connections or relationships, this is a week to really pay attention to where the drama is or where it is, because for some of you, you might be called in to mediate something. Remember the temperance card has a seesaw effect to it at times, and so you might be called upon in a sense to play mediator, you might be asked to step into something to, you know, to play the devil's advocate, if you like. Another way that this can show up is through healing. So whether this is physical, whether it's emotional, mental, spiritual, whatever it might be, this can be a powerful week where you are doing some kind of healing, where you're having some big kind of realization. If you are starting a therapeutic process journey or anything like that this week, this can be very profoundly, like this can have really great or amazing results for you, specifically if you're starting that process this week doesn't mean that you have to have all of your sessions to like in this week it just means if you're starting it this week it will have genuinely profound results for you from here on in and i say that because the temperance card yes it represents healers healing but it also represents therapists counselors healers healers nurses doctors etc so this could be a really great week for all manner of healing in that regard with that said, I would like to bless my deck of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity, and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise. They help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So for your actions and options this week, you have the five of pentacles. All right, so what is it that you need to release? What is it that you need to let go of on a physical level? Now your actions and options is about what you do. The five of pentacles is a card of loss. It's a card of release, basically, of material stuff. So for those of you that have been thinking about decluttering the home, for those of you that know there are items or things that you need to get rid of, this is the week to do so. For those of you that know you need to kind of What's the word that I'm looking for? Yeah, for those of you that know you need to declutter your internal self, this would be a good week to do so. Because you have this here with the temperance card, for a lot of you, I get the feeling that this is going to be a week where you shed some kind of stuff. You know, this, and when I mean stuff, I mean like our internal stuff, whether this is mental baggage, emotional, spiritual, whatever it is. There's something that you're losing this week, but because of the temperance card, it's like you're losing something that you need to lose. Whether this is losing weight, whether it's losing, you know, the heavy stuff that you keep in your mind, maybe your negative self-talk, whatever it is, it's like this week, something is coming out of you. And when it does, it's gonna take away or release. It's gonna be like a big release for you in some regard. Now, when it comes to your money, your finances and your resources, the Five of Pentacles does suggest that whatever it is that you're doing, it is gonna cost you. So you are potentially losing money here, but you know what? It's for a worthy cause. Whatever it is, it's gonna have a really good effect on you at a later date. And that's kind of like that balancing energy of the temperance card. It's like, yes, you're having to get rid of something or you're losing something, but by losing that thing, it's actually gonna make you lighter and brighter. For your communications and conversations, you've got the Four of Swords. This is not a week to talk to people. This is not, like, communication will be slow this week. And, you know, again, if you haven't seen it, check out the Weekly General. This really does resonate so deeply with that. This is a week to rest and recuperate, absolutely. But this is a week to withdraw from the world, right? This is a week to not be so active on social media. This is a week to kind of pull back and see where you're really at. This is probably a week as well through some of the conversations that you do have this week, you're gonna realize very quickly who you want in your life, who you don't. You're gonna see some people, maybe even people that you've known for a very long time, very differently. This wouldn't be a surprise to me if this week is kind of just by standing 
standing back and observing and not being so, you know, the first person to put your hand up to help or to da 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 Just by sitting back and really observing, I think there's gonna be some big realizations for a lot of you this week. Um, the Temperance card coupled with the Four of Swords, that is a profound sense of stillness. It really is a very, very beautiful energy. And in order to have that, you do need to pull back, all right? When it comes to those of you that are studying or in some form of academia, it does look like a lot of you are very, it's like you're knee deep in a project or you're working on something very hard that's taking all of your time and your effort. Um, this here with the Five of Pentacles, maybe you're having a conversation around something that you've purchased that you don't really feel like is doing what it says on the tin. For those of you that are, um, come on brain, for those of you that are employed by somebody else, gosh, oh my gosh, I'm sorry, I had a complete mind blank. For those of you that are employed by somebody else, the Four of Swords is, um, <sighs> When it comes to work, don't look for accolades, don't look for celebration, just knuckle down, do what you need to do. I'm not saying do do the bare minimum, but what I am saying is don't stick your neck out for anything or anyone. Do the job at hand, get it done, stay, place, stay patient, stay quiet and stay on task. For those of you that are um, business owners, entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, people that work for themselves, this might be a really good week actually for a lot of you to, um, to really start to understand where is your business taking you? What does it want? This is something that I've done with Radiant Reality now for the better part of three years, is to really ask my business, Radiant Reality, what do you want? This is something that if you are, if you've been on the Mindset Magic course, uh, I've talked about this extensively in there in the community calls, um, your business is an extension of you. And when you speak to it like an entity, it can and it will answer. It takes a little bit of practice, um, but I'm gonna tell you, like this is something that I did with the Mindset Magic course. The first time I tried to do this, it just didn't work. Like it literally just didn't. And so I sat and I spoke to the course and I said, what do you want? What is it that you want to share with people and teach them and you know?" And I developed it over time and I spoke to it and I continued that dialogue with the course Mindset Magic. And then when I released it, bam, it went and it did you know, what I wanted it to do, which was to go out into the world. So this week, if you are a business owner, speak to your business, ask it what it wants or what it needs from you or what it wants to be. And then pay attention to the answers that show up. For the, it's not quite as simple as that, but I can't give away all my secrets, darling. Um, for <laughs> I've given you enough to work with there. For those of you that are retired and no longer working, this week you could be looking at your finances, your resources, and your budget. This might be a week where you really are having some very potentially heavy conversations around money, or certainly ones that are. Um, revealing for your love and relations you've got the wheel of fortune so there's a change coming into the relationship for those of you that are married partnered or in long-term commitments this could be for some of you maybe not definite for some of you maybe you're saying to your partner i need some time maybe you're saying you know what i'm going to take a week off or i'm going to go and stay with my parents for a weekend or whatever i've encouraged everybody in 2023 to spend some time alone and the reason being is because it's a seven year. So that energy of hermetic sort of, you know, withdrawing from the world and all of that is gonna be very important for all of us. And the reason that is, is because it's gonna allow you to get back to who you actually are before your title of dad, mum, husband, wife, you know, employee, da 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 strip all of that back, right? Next year, and I've encouraged everybody, even if it's just one weekend out of a year, like a long weekend, a Thursday right through Monday, have a solid break where you don't have to answer to anybody. You don't have to fucking be this or that or whatever for somebody else to want, need, demand, da 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 da, da. It's gonna be so important. And I think for a lot of you that are partnered this week, it does look like you're taking some time out or potentially you're doing some kind of travel that your partner can't come with you for. Um, and that doesn't mean that there's a problem or there's an issue. It could literally just be maybe you have to go away and it's like, well, someone's got to stay and watch the kids. Someone's got a house set. Someone's got to watch the animals or whatever it might be. 
for um, the Wheel of Fortune is a nice card though. If you haven't seen it, check out the Weekly General. If you've had problems, challenges, or issues in a relationship, this could literally be a week where you are mending something, all right? Uh, for those of you that are single, if you're looking, it's gonna be in, on your travels and potentially in a very mundane place. You know, the shopping, um, maybe you're taking stuff to the local tip. Do you know what I mean? It's gonna be somewhere in like a really random place and you're like, huh, for a select few of you, it could literally be at a hospital or a place of healing that you meet someone or connect with someone. Very possible. For your money and materials, you have the Queen of Pentacles. This is great because there's a lot of self-care when it comes to the money this week. You're really paying attention to what you're paying for, why you're paying for it, what it means, what you're getting out of it. Anything that doesn't do what it says on the tin this week, you will definitely be getting rid of. Um, when it comes to your physical health and vitality, this is a week, if there were ever a week to practice self-care, this is that week, all right? You really wanna dedicate some good solid time to, to this this week. When it comes to your home and environment, the Queen of Pentacles is you either working on the home or you're making it more a place of sanctity or sanctuary, or potentially for some of you both. I don't know why, but I really feel like for a lot of you as well, this may be a week where you really double down on a spiritual practice or you start to get very serious about one. Which, if you've been with me long enough, thank you. It's about fucking time. <laughs> Love you to pieces. This is great. With that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up. Take care, and I'll see you soon.